Okay, so we'll discuss how the delayed acknowledgement can be handled in stop and wait ERQ. We know that in stop and wait, we have to wait for the acknowledgement before we send the next packet. Okay, so we'll set some counters. Let's see how this will work. So for example, there's a transmitter, there is a receiver and we are trying to send some packets. And before that we are sending, we are setting some counter S equals to zero and R equals to zero. Initialize it. And from the transmitter end, we are sending one packet P equals to zero. And in the receiver side, it is sending the acknowledgement, acknowledgement indexed by acknowledgement one. And when you, when you set the acknowledgement, then what is happening? Uh, we are we are changing the value from R equals to zero to R equals to one. Okay. And then the transmitter side, when it receives the acknowledgement one, it is changing the changing its value from zero to one and sending the packet one. And also in the receiver side, when it receives the packet, then uh, packet one, and it is change its uh, value, I mean R value to zero. So similar process will go on. Okay. So this is actually the typically how the acknowledgement works. And for example, now we'll discuss how the delayed acknowledgement can be handled.